about the white wedding the white wedding is normally very subtle and we believe the bride should look for a good makeup artist just like when she's looking for a wedding gown your wedding gown and your makeup look is as important as every other part of your wedding day because all eyes will be on you a lot of people are looking at the bride how does she look is that look very classy and we have the morning bride we have the afternoon we have the evening bride depending on the time of the day you are getting married your makeup has to look the parts so join me on this journey ride with me the first thing is for you to get your brows bright eyebrow grooming is very essential you go to brush the eyebrow so if you have any excess you have to cut it off just trim it so i'm going to trim off the little essence so that our brow bone can show we want to give uh, definition to the eyebrow so i'm going to apply a little face primer on our eyebrow just to make that area very dry i don't want my pencil moving so that's why i'm applying the primer and you can see our face is quite oily i just put the remaining on our face but first, let's do the brows. I'm using color 18, by the way. Can you see? I'm bringing out the shape of the eyebrow before I put the gel. brought out the shape I'm not going to apply the gel for that natural flawless look it's very important for you to use the eyebrow gel the eyebrow gel looks very natural give it that natural finishing Then the good thing you don't have to be sharpening your pencil. A lot of people they get tired sharpening your pencil. So that's the advantage of the gel eyebrow filler. I'm going to use the concealer. We have lovely concealers. We have the Ellie Girl, then we have the MAC, depending on the one you want to use. This is the Ellie Girl, then there's the MAC. This goes for like 2000 this goes for 10000 naira. So, depending on your budget, you can pick one that goes with your budget. You don't need to rub the bank or break the bank before you look good. You could pick a nice concealer that is not so expensive and we also do the job depending on your pocket. So now I'm defining the eyebrow. You take it downwards, blend it down. Then I'm going to go to the other eyes as well. This is a MAC NW40. Can always adjust eyebrows? Sometimes it takes a while. <laughs> That's why for me, the eyebrow is the most important when it comes to your makeup. You have to get it right. So you're rushing out, you can't do so much makeup, do your brows. I put a nice powder down lipstick, you're good to go. Just look presentable. I want to touch the other eyebrow. Just a little. For that natural look, I'm going to lighten up the start point. That's the start point. 
I want it to look very natural, as natural as possible. To make it natural, this is what you do. Can you see the way I'm holding the angle brush? This is the angle brush. When you're doing your makeup, you need to get the right tools, the right equipment. When you have the skill and you have nice equipment, you want to make your job look wow. You can achieve a flawless makeup. You can get lovely tools that are not too expensive, but at the same time, they do a good job for you. For the upper part of, our, of, our, of the eye back, I use our foundation. A lot of people they use the same concealer that they use for the lower for the upper part. You leave that side looking very whitish. Our color is bronze four. I'm using a, a Mary Kay. Mary Kay is very good for the women of colors. This is bronze four. And this is my missing tray. With your missing tray, you look more professional instead of using the back of your hands. I see a lot of professional makeup artists using the back of their hands. It's not really hygienic and um, it ends up staining the client's uh, outfit, staining your outfit as well. But when you use the, the missing tray, is it for you to put that away? Now, when you're using the back of your hands, this looks more professional. So, I'm going to take it all the way to the top. What I'm doing is I'm defining our eyebrows, like making our eyebrows to pop. Make it a little shorter. So I'm going to the other side. When you define your brows, it pops it out, it makes it look very flawless. I'm using a foundation color for the upper part. I'm touching up her eyebrows. So for the eyebrow, you keep touching up, you keep retouching till you get it right. <laughs> So now, we're almost done. I'm going to blend it. Mm. Then I'm going to use the eyebrow brush to shape it and brush it. I'm going to use the wedge. I love the wedge. I tell people it's what works for you. I have the brush set in different colors. I have the brush set in different makes. But the wedge just does it for me. I'm still going to blend that while I'm doing my makeup. I don't want to make it. A little cleaner. I'm using NYS. NYS is very nice. I've been using it for like for the past six years now. I love the overall effect, the rich finishing. It pops out your eyeshadow. It makes it look really great, and it gives it a stay power. Your eyeshadow stays all day. I'm going to apply it to the same, the same way I applied to 
before right i'm going to spread it spread it make sure you spread it very well spread it evenly across the eyes make sure it doesn't go above the eye mm. remember we are creating a very natural look okay this is the eyeshadow wedge i love the fact that you could control it the depth you can intensify using the eyeshadow wedge than when you're using the brush i'm using morphe i love this palette it's lovely especially when you want to do a very subtle look then you can contour colors that are just awesome it has lovely transition colors it goes for like twenty dollar. That's like ten thousand naira. I'm gonna use this color. That's like my starting point. So I'm going to use a color that goes with a natural color as well. I'm going to blend it in very well. Then I'm going to contour. But before I contour, I'm going to use another color to transit. I'm going to use this color. Sometimes it's good to mix. Okay. I'm going to use this as my transition color. I'm loving what it's bringing out. And makeup is not just to transform into that, it's also bringing out your beautiful features. It's only bringing out our beautiful features. And she's also looking not too heavily made up. Makeup should not uh, turn you into some, someone else entirely. You should just bring out a beautiful version of yourself. That's the, the best of you. I'm going to use a darker color now. But I don't want it to be too much, so I'm mixing it. So I'm contouring. Yeah, I'm going to blend. You know, makeup is all about blending, 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 and more blending. I have to just keep blending till you get what you want. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to apply the eyeliner. We have applied the eyeshadow, we've used transition color, now we have contoured. I'm going to put the eyeliner, then we're going to use the mascaras. I'm using Zaron, this is a Nigeria brand, it goes for like 2000 naira. This is a Nigeria brand, it goes for like 2000 naira. I'm using this for quite a while. I like that it lasts, it doesn't dry out, except you don't cover the lid very well. But on average of um, 1 to 10, I would say it's 80% very good. Make sure your hands are very straight. That helps to create a flawless finishing. Mm. 
Then I'm going to the other side. I'm going to do the same thing. When you pull, it has to create a straight line. Then you also have to control and help your clients. Even when you're applying it on your own eyes. Can you see the reaction? Normally, anything touching you, you're going to react. But by pulling it, I'm going to help her, like guide her. Is it? Okay. So, it's good. It's good. It's good. So, it doesn't entirely all the screws off. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to apply my mascaras. Sometimes your client, or even when you're applying your mascara, you can get a little teary. So, when you see that maybe she's feeling the irritation, just wait a while, let her calm down, then you continue doing the makeup. I'm going to kill, clean up the excess. Yeah, I'm going to clean it off. I'm going to clean it off. So, So I'm cleaning up the DSS. Next, we're going to apply the mascara. Give a coiler to straighten it out. Then we can go to the rest of our face and apply the foundation. First, to test for foundation, use the side of the face. Have to use the jaw to the neck because your foundation will be blended to your neck. Then the next color, I'm going to add this color. Then our bronze eight. From this, you can see the color that best suits her is the bronze four. By the time you blend it. We want to blend into our skin, to our face, to our neck. Can you see? This is a bit too dark, and that's definitely not it. You can use this to contour. That opens A to contour. Then you can use this to mix the contour color and this. That color, this and color all together. But you can use that as a foundation. The color four is what sits well, and it's well able to blend to our neck and to our face at the same time. To do this, I'm going to use my the wedge. I'm going to start from under her eyes. Blend it downwards. There's a system to which you apply your foundation. You take it. From up down, from up down, blend it well. Take it line by line. We're almost finishing the makeup. We're almost done. Blend it well. At this point, any area I feel is not well covered, I can use the concealer to cover such area. But the foundation cover shall is almost all the blemishes. We're not seeing any visible blemishes as such anymore. Then I'm going to contour. I'm going to use the Maybelline contour. I love these Morphe brushes. I don't feel it's overrated. I know a lot of Morphe brushes are very expensive but the, when you look at what it helps you to achieve is worth every penny to the side Smile. you put the contour brush this is the apple of the cheek huh? the cheekbone then the temple they're going to put a, a little 
blush there, then we're going to put the bronzer on top. That's the process, the contour underneath the blush on top, then we have put the bronzer. To do the highlighting, we're going to use the Sasha powder, it's a loose powder. It's lovely for setting, lovely for highlighting. Those important areas of your face you want highlighted. Then you wait for a while and light is setting very well. While we're waiting, we could just go ahead with the lips. Then I'm going to use the Enud Mac for our inner lips. Can you see the advantage of the missing tray? Instead of applying the lips stick directly, you use the missing tray to apply. Blend and put your lips together. Put it together. Then we can remove any excess. Some more, blend some more. Then what do we like? Then put the line on the eyes. Then clean up any excess on our lips. Sometimes while you're doing your makeup, you can't avoid some lipstick. Maybe her lips bleeding or some going. So you just have to smile. So if there's any excess, some on the teeth, you can just remove it off. For eyebrow to last longer, we have the eyebrow sealer. What it does is that it seal up your eyebrow, so eyebrow stays all day. That's it. To help eyebrow to stay all day long. I have a last longer. This goes for like five thousand. 
But if you use a good pencil, you may not really necessarily need it. Okay. So that's it. That's the eyebrow sealer. I'm going to touch her eyebrow. Okay. Then just finish it up. Then the glow, don't forget the glow. What it does that it gets, makes her look very young. For that glow. Then add a little setting powder. Then she's good to go. I'm sure you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching.